Hey, this is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2015 NAMM Show in Anaheim, California. I'm here at the Ernie Ball Music Man booth with Chris Harrington, who's going to take us through a couple new things. they got a brand new Stingray bass. Uh, it's actually a neck-through design and a new set of flat-wound strings it's, uh, that are also going to be on the market soon, too. Chris, how's it going? Good. How are you? Very good. So this is uh, this is big for you guys. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, as a stingray player myself, uh, this is really exciting to finally have a, a a more ergonomic access to the neck. So we've got a, a neck through. Um, otherwise, the construction of the stingray is exactly the same. Uh, you're not going to see anything different as far as tone or um, you know the construction or shape of the neck. But it's really just easier access on the higher frets. And uh, so, like, we've got the we've got the single humbucker model here. I think there's also going to be a, a two humbucker model. Right. We'll also have a two humbucker uh, HS, and then they'll also be available in both two band and three band EQ. Okay. Uh, and they'll be available in a variety of solid colors, and I believe also some of the sunburst. Right on. And what are we looking at for street price? Uh, about 1950. Okay. And from what I heard, uh, a few months down the road before they're going to be available, That's correct? Correct. That's correct. Well, uh, why don't you uh, take us through a little bit more so we can see what this can do. Sure, sure. Okay. So basically what I've got here, I've got the two-band EQ single H. Um, everything's basically dimed right now. Um, and then I'm running this through one of the Music Man bass amps. So, um, yeah, basically also we've got the uh, flat wound strings. Yeah, tell me about the strings and what's behind those. Sure, so we've got a new set of uh, flat wound bass strings. So, it may, you may have noticed that it's actually a rather bright sound. And with that, what we've got is a new set of slinky flat wound strings. And they utilize our new cobalt alloy, which is um, what we've been using already for our uh, round wound electric guitar strings and bass strings. We've integrated that now into a flat wound construction. And what you can expect from that is a brighter sound, as you heard. But along with that, you've also got increased flexibility and um, the same you know, smooth feel and reduced finger noise that you would uh, expect from a traditional flat wound bass string. Um, so as you heard, I mean, I'm basically... I mean, it's a pretty bright sound for a, uh, for a flat wound. Definitely not a you know, typical Motown. I mean, you can get that still. But with that, it's um, you know definitely something where if you're starting to dig in a little bit more, you can bring more of that bite, that zing back into it. So you can definitely get more growl, which is nice. So if you've got if you've got a gig maybe where you're playing around with something that's uh. You've got some mellow tunes or you've got some old Motown covers that you're doing, but then maybe you need to do some rock and roll covers as well. This can take you in either direction for what you're looking for. And along with that, if you're in the studio and you're looking for more of that round sound, but with that, you don't want the finger noise, this is going to be more of what you're looking for. I would kind of describe it more or less like a three-quarter round. Okay. It's a very close to a round wound sound. And on top of that, I was mentioning earlier, the flexibility. Flat wound strings tend to be just because of the construction that's a bit stiffer of a string, a bit higher tension. This is like a low tension version of a flat wound string. So for getting around and playing those uh, you know, more difficult riffs, you can get away with that more with what you would be familiar with on a round wound string, but getting a lot of the benefits that you would from a flat. So yeah, it's basically it. You know, We're harnessing the, uh, the power of cobalts with the construction of a flat. And these are available now or down the road as well? These will be available in a few months. And um, these will be available in uh, six different sets. So all the traditional uh, gauge combinations that you would expect from uh, our extra slinkies, which are 40 to 95, all the way up to power slinkies, which are uh, 55 to 110. And then we'll also have one five string set available, which will be a 45 to a 130. Awesome. And if I heard right, about 30 bucks a set? Yeah, it's about 30 bucks street price per set. All right. Well, Chris, thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. 
All right, this is Rich Osweiler for PremierGuitar.com, coming to you from the 2015 NAMM show in Anaheim. Chris, why don't you take us out? <laughs>